the inflation is going to continue and it's going to ramp up even more because the Fed just said, ha, screw the inflation. The thing is going to be transitory. Let me show you what I'm seeing. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. So looking at the gold and silver traders right now, what the Fed has said right now today is, uh, well, let's actually look at the on a technical basis. Gold still pretty much stuck in this overall sort of triangle pattern through here. We're getting the silver market. Silver actually had a, had actually a pretty, look at this here. Silver actually had a reverse down to the 50% Fibonacci level and then a rally up and started to close high. So that's what the, that's what the, that's what the silver's doing. But look at, look at silver. Silver's actually doing something really nice here. We could potentially be developing a beautiful, beautiful, is this a head and shoulder formation? Because if we get something like this here and we get a breakout, guess what? Oh, ho, ho. There's the beautiful neckline, and then away we go. So I'm watching like a hawk, or sometimes like magpies watch me when I'm running past them. <laughs> it's like, it's like you, do, you little, <laughs> yeah, MF. Um, so be, I'm watching that really closely because as you can see, silver's actually potentially setting up for a nicer position, nicer trade here than gold. Gold's like, uh, even though even though inflation inflation's not going to be transitory, right? Commodities, people that are short commodities right now are just like, are you serious? The inflation is going to continue up. The inflation is going to continue. Why? It's called the Fed just easing off, easing off the pedal with the with the oh, we went from 120 down to 105 QE this month, and we're gonna do it again this month, and we're not gonna to touch the interest rates. Even though there's three and a half trillion dollars on the sidelines that is coming into the markets as we speak, yeah, nah, the you know that three and a half trillion that's in the markets or that's going to come into markets, that's not going to cause inflation. No, the inflation is not going to be transitory, and the Fed is totally ignoring that. That's why guys like inflation assets, like for me, I'm still in the I'm still in the energy sector. I see energy sector continue to have a very nice move towards the end of this year, and it's the reason I'm still in the stock market, right? Because I see this. Everything just being woof, way we go, right? Um, and so we're seeing that there. Let's have a look at the mining sector. Mining sector came down to the 50% and we actually held here. So we're still potentially in the, in the what is it, what's it called? In the section of, of maybe, maybe potentially, uh, once again, a head and shoulder formation that's coming out of this here. So we could be getting that. Uh, also, the GDXJ, GDXJ is continuing to make a very nice, potentially high low here soon. So we could be getting ready for a very, very, very nice move out of this level here, guys. Um, there is a bit of resistance there, but that's what's happening there. SIL, the same sort of thing that we're seeing right now on the SIL. Um, you can see how we would potentially just, guys, I'm telling you right now, like, please keep an eye on these mining sectors, even for a shorter term position. Like these mining stocks are just setting up to be one crazy hell of a beautiful move. Like, oh my goodness, guys. Some of these mining stocks are just, it's like, here you go, sir. Here's a beautiful setup on the silver platter for you. Would you like to take it? No, I'm, I'm in the crypto market. I don't trade the mining stocks. <laughs> really? I do, me, this guy. Because look at this here, guys. Like, oh my goodness. It's like, Here's the silver, oh, you know what, silver platter? Okay, I'll go give it to Mr. Hal then, and he can take it and make a few hundred percent return. Thank you, all right? Me, this guy, look at this here. Beautiful low, move down, we, and now we're potentially, right? So I'm, now I'm not saying it's definitely gonna happen. So people are like, oh, John, if you know it's definitely gonna happen, let's buy here, right? Let's get in early before everyone else does. Like, no, wait for the confirmation, right? Confirmation, confirmation phase, what? A breaking above this here. And then if we do do that, so 34 to 40, what's that roughly? You know what? I'm just gonna use a little parallel, parallel, a little parallel trend line. Yep, All right, put it from there to there. So if we start to break it, we're probably gonna make our way up to there. Possibly even, you know what? We're probably gonna probably make our way back up towards the top up here, which is probably somewhere through there maybe even a bit higher, like up there somewhere. Uh, but on a conservative target, what have you got here? This level here, it's like, oh my goodness, look at these here traders. It's like, even for a short-term move, 
<laughs> oh, try to. Are you saying Santa Santa, Santa Claus? You know, actually you not know Donkey Kong, Santa Claus, and the silver platter is coming out. Are you seeing him? No. Oh wait, you're still focused on Bitcoin. Are you? I, that's okay. That's okay. You can still keep focus on the, on the crypto markets and ask people who are focusing on all markets. Are going to take advantage of all these markets and say thank you for your silver platter because Donkey Kong's coming to town. Donkey Kong's coming to town. All right, S I L J. Same sort of thing, right? Look at this here. Beautiful resistance. Beautiful potential. Like head and shoulder formation. We are getting a high. We're getting a pullback. We've got a strong V bottom. Oh my goodness, traders. We're not there yet, right? Because this we could just go like that and then like forget everything I just said about head and shoulders and blah, 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 right? But look at this here. Beautiful move down. Beautiful strong move up. And now we're just getting a very weak pullback. So we get something like that. Wow. Up we go to at least 17, maybe even potentially $18 on the SIOJ. There's so many amazing setups, guys. So be patient, right? Be patient. Look for these amazing quality setups because I'll tell you right now, there's 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 positions one the trend is your friend until the end and i hope you guys have been, have been listening to me because you guys that have been fight have been fighting against this trend have been getting killed like on the stock market um and then now guess what we're starting to change the trend on the silver mining stocks as well